In this video, we're going to give you some tips on how to save money while visiting the beautiful city of Edinburgh. Whether you're traveling on a budget or simply looking to make the most of your trip, we have some tips for you. Let's get into it. First, avoid peak tourist seasons if you can. Edinburgh's most expensive time is during August due to the various festivals that take place. Of course, summer in itself is quite expensive, along with Hogmanay, Scotland's New Year celebration. Prices dip during the shoulder seasons of spring and autumn, just like many other tourist destinations. Next, take advantage of Edinburgh's free attractions, sites like the Edinburgh Castle Esplanade, the National Museum of Scotland, and numerous galleries are all free. Check out our accompanying blog post, which you'll find in the description below, for a fuller list of free attractions in the city. Edinburgh is a compact city, so if your visit will be contained within the city centre, consider walking to save money on transportation. You can also join walking tours, many of which are free. Remember though that you are expected to tip at the end of the tour as you see fit. You can check out our accompanying blog post for a few walking tour providers. If you're a student, make sure to bring your student ID for discounts at many attractions and businesses. Make sure to inquire in advance or ask staff about student discounts, especially if you don't see discounts posted. Similarly, many places offer discounts for seniors. The starting age at which a business considers someone to be a senior differs, but it is typically around the ages of 60 or 65. Next, you can choose budget accommodation, which is of course a common tip for anywhere you may be traveling to. Consider hostels, guest houses, or even couch surfing. Staying a bit outside of the city center can save you money, but be sure to factor in the cost of transportation. If you don't mind not trying out various cuisines and restaurants, cooking your own meals can significantly cut costs. For my dessert, I have chosen to make a traditional English trifle. Wow, that sounds great. Mm -hmm. And what are you making, Monica? You know, in case Rachel's dessert is so good that I eat all of it. <laughs> Hostels and self-catered apartments often have kitchen facilities. Eating out for all of your meals definitely adds up, so this is a great way to save money. If you don't want to do full-on cooking, you can also consider packing a picnic so that you can save money on at least one meal per day. Consider shopping at budget grocery stores like Little and Aldi. Do note that the smaller versions of the main shops like Tesco Express or Sainsbury's Local are more expensive than normal sized Tesco's and Sainsbury's. One other tip regarding food is that in shops like Tesco and Sainsbury's, among many others, you can get a meal deal, which is a deal of three items. A main, which is usually a sandwich or wrap, a drink, and a snack, usually crisps or chocolate, for the price of around £3.50, although the price varies by shop. They're very commonly eaten for lunch in the UK, and this is another great way to save some money. For budget shopping, consider charity shops. Areas like Stockbridge, Morningside, and Newington have many charity shops like Shelter, Chest, Heart & Stroke Scotland, Oxfam, and more. If you plan to take a day trip from Edinburgh, consider taking trains during off-peak hours for cheaper fares. The exact hours may vary by train company, but they generally fall outside rush hours and include weekends and bank holidays. You can also look for other ticket options, such as advanced tickets. If you'd like more tips on how to see Edinburgh on a budget, then be sure to check out our accompanying blog post, which you'll find in the description below. One more thing before we go. Did you know that we have an Etsy shop? We sell photographic prints featuring various destinations, including many of Edinburgh and Scotland. So if you perhaps like something memorable to feature on your wall at home, you can use the code OJA20 for 20% off your order. The link to the shop is in the description below. If you have any questions about saving money in Edinburgh, then leave us a comment below and we'll be happy to help. We hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a like, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you in the next video.